TV. Oh, you know what time it is. You know what time it is. Little shouts out to little unboxing knife. You know what I'm saying? We ah, gonna cut it open. Cut it like a fish. Get up in there. Unboxing me and you together for the first time. For the first time. For the first time. Man, you don't need no man. I don't even know why. Why you? You got gas. You got gas. Did someone fart it? Yes, I didn't fart it. I pooped it. Cause I have gas. Uh, I have gas. Yes! What is it, John G? Number sweet water. You know what time it is. Sweet water? You see that red, white, and blue? Will you see that red, white, and blue? Sweets for the sweets. Ah, what's this? Usual, usual stuff, you know what I'm saying? A little package. Y'all should know what it is. I don't even know why y'all tripping. Y'all know what it is. I shouldn't even have to slip this open. You know what I got. What you hear right now is actually uh, a drum loop that I made on iPhone. The DRM drum joint. This joint right here. The DM, the DM, right here, the DM joint. And then what I did was I ran it through the analog heat and all the pedals, all them crazy sounds you, you hearing, but this is the loop right here. I don't know why y'all slipping on these uh, mobile apps, thinking like, you know, this software ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't sufficient. You need to stop it, all right? Official. So yeah, this is the loop, um, and I ran that joint through there, and this turns into this. Back to the unboxing. Ah, 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 ah. Slitty? Uh-oh. 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 Oh, uh -oh. I can't even. Dante. Man, you don't need to I don't even need that, man. I don't even know why you got that, man. You got that, you got that. Oh, what's that? Oh, uh, what is this, Johnny? You see what it is? Uh, 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 At last, it is in my grasp. We've all been looking, we've all been waiting, and finally, it has arrived. What'd that say right there, son? What'd that say right there, son? Read, boy. Next generation, boy, that be me. It's gonna say John G. Sequence mono synth. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, this is just a circuit mono station. Um, where my handle at? Novation. Oh, y'all. Novation. Now, I be praising y'all about y'all boxes, man. Where, where, the, where the strap at? I just knew I was gonna get a handle. 
I just knew I was gonna get a handle. I feel like y'all cheated me. I'm spoiled. Y'all, you can tell I'm spoiled. I'm the baby. I'm spoiled. I no patient. How y'all gonna let me down? Where's the strip, Novation? Novation, I hope this message reaches reaches you in good health. Where's my strap, Novation? I want my... Where's my strap? There's no strap. Novation! Where's the strap? The strap! I mean, the circuit. I want to say too much. I don't have that box on hand, and I know I ain't tripping, but I'm pretty certain, I'm almost 100% certain it's Novation, who was innovative in giving me a box with a handle, and I don't have a handle, Novation, I was expecting a handle from y'all, ah, yay, yay, anyways, let's get up in here, uh, this is brand new, so it might need some tape, no? You can just take it out. Ooh. I love how Novation does their uh their their books. They put them right here. You almost can't tell it's a book right there. But I love how they do that. And finally. Novation, I like how y'all do y'all chords. You always giving me bright colors. You gave me a blue one. I had an orange one. Like, I, I, I like how y'all, man, man, ovation, I love this. Attention, attention. Read that shit later. All right. That's what we want. Get up out of there. Get up out of there. Playing those games with you. All right. A moment of silence, please. Cut, cut the sound. We got to get a smell test. We got to get a... The smell test of the Circuit Mono Station brought to you by John G at John G TV. Um, the smell of this is wow. This does not smell like this. This is this will throw you off when you smell this fresh out the box. You're it's not you're not you're not going to believe what you smell. Only thing I can say is the bulk of the smell is coming from these pads, and it must be the pads that's permeating this aroma. People, I'm trying to, I, I'm, I'm trying to grab the word for what I'm smelling. Um, plastic, like new, new plastic. Like, it has that plastic smell. Okay, the back. Um, okay, now up here it smells like a radio. It has that radio smell to it. These pads have a, um, a plastic smell, but it's, it's a unique plastic smell. I smell plastic, but it's unique. Man, what is, uh, is, man, it's on the tip of my tongue. What is that? Ah, uh, man, I don't know. It's some kind of plastic or urethane or I don't know what, I don't know what I'm trying to describe to you in terms of what I'm smelling, but I definitely smell a unique smell and it's mainly coming from the pads. Um, but plastic is what I first think of. My first impression is, 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 Light but heavy? Does that does that make that ain't make sense to it? John G be talking in circles. It's it's not it's not super light. Like I I want to say that the base station like this ain't too this ain't too much lighter than the base than the base station. I always felt the base station was uh, light and kind of felt hollow um, to the touch. Uh, but yeah, man, this. I wish I had. I don't have my. I don't have my circuit uh, readily available, which is sad because shouldn't I have a circuit out right now? I should because I ain't really comparing. But I know most people are gonna 
instantly compare the two, but the pads feel different. They don't feel like these pads, damn, they don't even feel playable. Damn, this shit's stiff as a mud. Like, ain't no give. Like, look at this. Like, let me see if I can get that to show. Like, I'm pressing hard right now in the mud. And this, you see the, it ain't moving. Like, so it's, I, I have to see if it's velocity. I think it is velocity uh, after touch. Uh, I don't know about all of that. I have to check on that. Um, but I'm thinking maybe that's the reason why, because you can really, you know, push it and get more expression out of it, maybe. Because this shit is, man, it's stiff as a, damn, this joint stiff. These pads are stiff. These, I'm damn near want to consider these not to be pads. Like that's that's how stiff they are. No zero give. You feel a pad there? You feel something there? But when you go to press it. So I don't know how it's going to respond when I plug it up. I'm sure it'll, it'll respond to the touch. But when you touch it, wow. These, man, these pads are hard in the mud. Um, everything else, I mean, obviously I like that, that silver shine. You know, that has that, um, what we've come to, to know about Novation. It has that look, which seems to be standard. All the buttons. Okay, these two are, you know, stop, but it seems like, okay, everything with the knob stops. Everything else is endless. Oh, that's slick. I like how they did that. So if it has a little notch on it, it is actually going to stop. But the ones that have nothing, these are endless uh, encoders, I guess they're called. So I like, that's a little touch. I like that. The mark lets you know where you at, and these are just, you know, just endless how you can swing that. Dude, I think, oh my God, I can just foresee me having a lot of fun with this, um, considering all of the manipulation. Yeah, uh, already, I'm seeing this is going to be a lot of fun. I don't know how it sounds. We're going to get into that next. This is just an unboxing. Um, first look, my first impression, smell tests, all that good stuff. Um, the one, the main thing that drove me to want to get this was the, cause here's, here's my, let me explain, you know, cause a lot of y'all just, and I kind of take, I take some offense to the whole gas thing because when I hear that, it makes me feel like, you know, somebody who's just aimlessly buying shit, you know, without thought or reason. And that ain't you know, that ain't my case. Like I, I put some thought into this. Like I'm thinking about what I'm trying to do and what I want to sound. Now, you might not agree with it, or you might not, you know, understand it. And that's fine. I mean, it ain't for you to understand per se. But for me, there's a method to the madness. It's not just me just saying, oh, I gotta, I gotta have some. It's a bunch of shit I don't have that I could afford, but I don't have it. Because I'm not just trying to, I don't, because because I don't have gas. I'm not just out here just, ah, I gotta buy, I gotta have. No, no, no. Think about everything that you've seen so far. I am very selective. I watch YouTube videos and I make, like I told y'all before, I, I know so much about the TR, TR8 and I don't even own it. Um, because I've watched so many videos about it. I mean, I, I just like y'all. I'm no different from you. You watch all these videos because you're trying to figure out, is this me? Should I buy it? And so you're looking for some answers. You want somebody to know because you don't want to just spend your 150, 200, 300, 400, whatever, how many dollars and to get it and be like, ah, this, uh, this ain't me. So first off, knowing who you are and what your purpose is will guide you as to what you need. And I'll be the first to say that, you know, I don't need is a slippery slope because I don't need any of this to make good music or to to uh, allow my expression. Um, I want it. And the reason why I want it, this particular piece, is because I'm always thinking future proof. USB, years ago when I first started, like when I first bought my keyboard, my Motif, 
uh, back in 2000, I don't know, probably 2001, 2, 2003. I mean, it was early 2000s when I got that. And um, it had USB on it. And I knew that USB was going to connect it to the computer, which to me just felt like that was that future-proof type of thing. Because at that time, this is when groove boxes were having uh, um, the the big SD cards and the ones that don't even they don't even make no more. I got my Electrib use some floppy uh, SD card that they don't even make. It's not the SD card we use now. Um, you got to go online and like find it or whatever. But uh, you know, it was at that period though where SD card hadn't become the standard yet, and so I was always thinking future proof. Well, with this. I'm loving the fact that it has the. If I get that in focus, I'm loving how it has the CV. So you got note out, CV and gate. You got clock out, uh, out, and then you got MIDI. Also audio in. Audio in will always be something that I will love to uh, have on gear because it basically just takes that gear to. A sonic um, unknown like you don't know what's gonna happen when you put something in here and affect it with the device and that goes for any device I just I'm a big fan of audio in the CV now that I'm getting into the whole modular thing and whatnot I love CD, CV um, and then MIDI you gotta have for syncing purposes although my MIDI game is not where I want it to be I know there's so much more you can do with MIDI but you know I haven't just completely written it off I just don't have as much fun as I do with just straight audio. But with that being said, I mean, like I said, I, I really uh, uh, put thought and pro in, into why I'm getting particular gear. And I'm not gonna explain my secret. I'm not gonna explain everything because I don't want to be. I'm, I'm being a little vague because I don't want to be completely transparent as to the other reasons why I buy uh, multiple pieces of gear. But there is there is method to the madness. It's not just you know how y'all call it just somebody just oh he he has the he has the acquisition syndrome he just wants to get just to get no wrong wrong I, it may look like that to you it may be like that but that ain't my reality there is a method to my madness and here we have today the circuit mono station first um just first view of Obviously, they always do this. So whatever back color they use, they give you the core to match that. And I just, it's the small things. Companies, innovation, I tilt my hat to you. Thank you. Once again, you've, you know, you've presented a product that has just great presentation. I mean, if it sounds like shit, if nothing else, they'll be like, yo, it look cool. So that yellow cord to go with the, this is, look at this, man. I mean, that's just, you know, so I, I like, I like stuff like that. even though you would never really see it you know what i'm saying it's like red bottom shoes will you ever really see the bottom of the shoes eh, maybe a glimpse you know what i'm saying but nothing to really justify that the hype but hey it's just a little something so it's red i mean the yellow bottom yellow um cables and they give you or they give you three on my on my circuit they only gave me two but i guess because it's got in out and through so it has through on this. So you got in, out, and through. They give you all three cables, which is another touch. Uh, it'd be nice if they'd have threw in some CV cables too. Novation, next time, y'all have CV on here too. Y'all could have threw in uh, one, two, three, four, five of those cables, yellow. That would have been a nice little touch. I mean, I don't know if they can put it in the budget next time, or maybe you didn't even think about that, but be a nice little touch, Novation. You know, put in some, uh, some colored matching cables to and just for all companies man y'all that would be a, such a good look you give me the power cord give me all the cords so when i buy the gear i don't gotta do nothing else but plug it in and i have a jack a line for every jack audio lines like how dope would that be if i'd have bought this and it came with uh audio a yellow audio outline i mean audio uh your audio cables along with your MIDI along with the included MIDI jacks they did give you in a USB they would have included some some patch cables for this and then the audio and that would have been so much love if they would have did that and I'm sure it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have broke the bank to do that to throw in what a value of ten dollars I'm that wouldn't have broke the bank at all and that would have been just a nice touch 
And so for you other companies, y'all wanna put your step ahead of the game. I think Roland, Core, whomever you are, include the cables with your gear. I'm just saying, that would be nice. I know I'd like it. I know we'd like it. Um, so yeah, I don't want to carry on too long. We already went too far. I've been rambling once again. But this is the novation. It's just, you know, for shits and giggles, I just because I got it out and I've been playing with it, I just want to throw this in there, even though I know I already unboxed it, but I actually, actually got it out finally and played with it. Yo. Yo. Woo. Wait. Listen, man, uh, man, man, man. Now, I don't want to talk too much about it, but I'm going to just say this. Initially, I thought this was Volca size. But as you can see, this thing is a beast. I could put one, I could put easily two and two and a third Volcas on this thing sideways. Like, this is nowhere, if you were thinking this was Volca size, I don't know why I was thinking that, it's nowhere near Volca size. Not even close. Like you could, literally I can line up two Volcas, you know what I mean, on top of this thing. So, um, I, like I said, I just, I finally pulled it out. I've been listening, oh my God, I've been listening to this thing. The sounds? Yo, I'm so happy to be a part of this. Um, I'll, I'll talk more about how I feel about it, but yeah, this right here, it's the build quality on it is nice. It's nice. The effects nice. This keyboard is uh, you really can't see it, but you can feel each note. You can feel that right there when you own that note. You can feel it. It's kind. Of, it's slightly raised, and then right here is like you. It's nothing, and then every note, the keyboard is actually raised. So if you like braille, it's like braille. You can, it's, it just feels good. This box feels premium. Very good build quality in the sound. Oh my God. All right, I don't wanna ramp on. I'm, I'm gonna say that for another video, but yeah, I had it sitting out. I just wanted to drop that in there. So yeah, this is the unboxing of the circuit mono station. Uh, we're gonna get into this. I unfortunately, be quite honest with you, because of uh, everything that I'm pulling off right now, I don't know how quickly I'm going to be able to get to this because I still got so much shit to do anyway as it is. Um, so yeah, John G will be going to work. This is the circuit mono station. And if you're new to the channel, this is your first time coming here. And you're like, what's this, man? What are you talking about? I ain't talking about nothing. Check out the other channel. Check out the other uh, episodes and you'll see. You'll get on the bus. You'll figure out what all the hype is about. Why are everybody talking about this, talking about that? What's all the hoopla about? So they actually put this back in there right now because uh, to be truthful with you, I probably won't even plug this up until this weekend. Probably this weekend, I'm gonna plug this back in. So for now, for this second, I'm gonna just nestling back in right there. Mm-hmm. Cover this back up, mm-hmm. Like that, all right, and then we're gonna do this and cut this back up. John G, John G TV, fade to black.